Not too long ago, a truly astonishing celestial object was discovered in space. The scientists who discovered this celestial object went as far as saying it was something they could hardly believe. Even NASA went so far as to announce a week ago that the Hubble had found something of great significance. The identity of this celestial body was none other than the oldest star ever discovered by humanity. This star's age is estimated to be a staggering 12.9 billion years, believed to have formed shortly after the Big Bang. Perhaps, this star may potentially be the first, first-generation star ever discovered by humanity. Arundel, that is the name of this star. Arundel means dawn star in very ancient Old English. True to its name, this star was born shortly after the birth of the universe, making it one of the oldest stars in existence. In fact, it's virtually impossible to discover stars that were formed during the very early stages of the Big Bang. Scientists have long theorized the existence of first-generation stars, but up to now, not a single one had been discovered. The reason it's so challenging to discover them is probably that they are incredibly distant from us. Even this newly discovered star, Arundel, is located an astonishing 12.9 billion light years away from us. Yet, the reason scientists were able to detect this ancient star was due to the gravitational effects and a bit of luck. For a while, scientists observed the galaxy cluster WHL 013708, about 5.5 billion light years away. This galaxy cluster possesses a staggering mass of about 900 trillion times that of the Sun. Furthermore, the immense mass of this galaxy cluster had severely warped the surrounding space. This space distortion is bending light from much farther away than this galaxy cluster. When you look at this image, you can see the curved, reddish light bending near the galaxy cluster. The identity of this bend, reddish light was the light from galaxies farther away, bent by the gravity of the galaxy cluster. This galaxy's light was amplified by the gravitational lens to around several thousand times its original size. If you examine the red light's line closely, you can spot two bright points. These two bright points continually changed in brightness during the observation period. Scientists concluded that these two bright spots were probably duplicate galaxy clusters due to gravitational lensing. In fact, gravitational lenses not only distort and magnify the appearance of objects but often replicate them like mirrors. Moreover, between these two galaxy clusters, there is a much dimmer red spot that occupies its place. Unlike the duplicated points caused by gravitational lensing, this spot displayed no changes in brightness. So, it appears highly unlikely that this spot is a result of gravitational lensing or a transient image. Furthermore, the analysis of the spot's light revealed that its mass is approximately 50 times that of the Sun. With these characteristics, it's highly likely this spot is a very old star, around 50 times the Sun's mass. However, whether this star is a single star or part of a binary or triple system remains undetermined. Moreover, this star is estimated to be located at a distance of approximately 12.9 billion light years from us. This implies that this star was formed roughly 900 million years after the Big Bang. In other words, this star might possibly be the first generation star that scientists have long been searching for. If this star is indeed a first-generation star, it could be a major event in astronomy. Furthermore, it could provide us with more insights into the mysteries of the early universe. However, with current observational equipment, analyzing this star is virtually impossible. No need to worry, since humanity now has the more potent James Webb Space Telescope. Recently, scientists have obtained approval to use the James Webb for the analysis of Arundel. With the James Webb, it might reveal whether this star is truly a single star, and even whether it is a first-generation star. Scientists anticipate that this will require approximately one year to accomplish. Around this time next year, we hope to hear astonishing news that could change textbooks.